Oh my god, hi guys. Like do 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 I mean, all this stuff, and we'll break it down for you, but we, we got to focus on what the impacts are going to be, and mostly this is going to be a water problem. Right, because ultimately that is the thing with Flood the wash. storm. How is it going to affect Why is it so bright and overexposed? That, so that it is a washout. Okay, so we have, um, oh my God. These are all, these are all these very heavy rainfall that could come down in a short period of time. So even though we've got some water, this time it yeah, and Alex, when we talk about water problems, it's not just the rain-induced okay, flood so risk, yeah. it's the risk for rip currents, even where it doesn't rain a whole lot. So we've got to focus on water, on and we're going to go more detail into oh the God. rainfall risk, the flood risk, and the timing. But I wanted to show this up front, because this is the number one concern out of this system. Okay, whatever wait, ends up being called, thing? whatever strength that it's used, which I think probably going to um, be very my, strong. My rainfall state and flood used is to be, be um, not just in Florida, five to eight. but it's in Western Cuba, Cuba, for example, Saturday, in the model zone of Green Island. Exactly. That's going to be one of the... But that is going to be a big concern. We got this broad area, low pressure centered around northeast Yucatan. Okay, so that means it's definitely gonna hit us. And today's preparation day. Do 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 Regardless of when that happens, regardless of what kind of system it's going to be, I can show you what the weather setup is going to be for the system. Upper level trough here is providing the wind shear. That is what is making this a very one-sided <laughs> system. And Scott, it looks like my Mac Walking software just crashed. So while we're trying to figure out what else I'm going to show, uh, there it goes. <laughs> Went bye bye. The storm has not gone away. Did that upper level that was funny. in the western portions of the Gulf of Mexico that is shearing Bro. the system. That's why it's going to be lopsided. Not the weather channel really supports the United lifespan. States. So what that means Mexico. is that the weather is going to get worse tomorrow in Florida before the center even gets close to you. So, Alex, one thing we got to talk about while we fix okay. the computer problem is that there's a big difference between when the weather is going to start getting right. bad in South Florida and when landfall of the center of whatever kind of low it is. Right. You know, like, this is kind of the comb over of systems. So everything's <laughs> on one side, and then the other side is, is really is really just kind of, there's not much happening. That's a okay. new tropical meteorological term. Yeah, I'm going to submit that um, <laughs> to, to the AMS, the National Hurricane Center, the comb over. Oh wait, I wonder how we're gonna do the Friday happy video, guys, tomorrow when there's gonna be tropical storms. Oh my God! For some of you, we're going to see that. Oh my God! And I say bad weather in terms of beaches, in terms of traffic, and heavy rain is going to slow you down on the roads at the airports as well. So far, it's not that severe. We have the South Florida airports of the Keys. We're talking Key West. We're talking Marathon. We're talking Key Largo. I'm talking Fort Lauderdale, south of Naples. So we have the high-risk beaches. Beaches in play for storms. 
and very heavy oh, rain. Let's, uh, let's put the future radar into motion. Even this afternoon, I think we'll see some oh, scattered whoa. downpours. Look at that. that. Oh. Coverage and intensity bumps up and bumps up in a big way during the day on Friday. So Friday oh my God. lunchtime. At like 2 p.m. on Friday, those tires did. A slug of heavy rain for oh the late day drive for the evening hour. So dinner time out at one of those, you know, open air restaurants on the beach, not going to happen tomorrow. You're not going to be walking down uh, the street in Miami. You're not going to be walking out in the Keys, you know, uh, enjoying the sights and the sounds. Uh, the sights and the sounds are going to be heavy rain and the thud of heavy rain. So, unfortunately, we start off the weekend on a very soggy note. There's Key West picture again. Tomorrow morning, you're going to notice the rain really begin to come in. So, a few hours earlier than South Florida, the heaviest of rain of by mid. Yes, uh, flash flood. Take a lot of heavy rain really Sorry, I paused. Only, that was you know, drain so quickly. So, that's going to be a big problem again. <laughs> upper level trough over the western Gulf. That's what's providing the wind shear. So, the center of circulation at low level is in here, but all the weather is on the east oh, side. And that's going to remain the case because the wind here is going to be you know, keeping the intensity in check. Uh, you know, doesn't have the environment to become a hurricane. It's much like Florida, Florida, but it does. Yeah, but we have hurricanes, so. Palestine we're talking about can kind of fool you into thinking, well, winds the center are going to make landfall. What if that happens on Saturday? Don't forget that tomorrow. This weather is going to be getting there way before the center of circulation does. And the surface observations show you where the area of low pressure is, is centered, even with Cancun and Cozumel. you got the opposite wind directions in there, mm -hmm. pretty easy to determine. We've got a low pressure center in there. But we don't, we, you know, it's not like we're not going to Low have pressure energy. area. The, the showers, the convection will bring mm -hmm. down some energy from aloft. Well, and where even is 33, this? 33, 36 miles an hour in Key West. So it'll be gusty. Uh, and if this becomes a tropical storm before Florida, then, you know, it'll be uh, pretty windy, but not uh, as strong as, you know, the hurricane. Now, here's the area of the low-level spin, and this makes for an interesting aircraft reconnaissance flight, right? Because usually you want to go zipping around uh, all around where you think the low-level center is in one of these invest missions. They can't do that because of the land, so they're just hugging the coast of Yucatan, and they're confirming what we kind of already know from the satellite, uh, where we've got... Uh, you know, they, they did find a minimum in pressure uh, as they went through that zone. And none of the winds from the step frequency microwave radiometer, that SFMR or SMURF instrument that remotely measures wind speeds, it's not measuring any really strong winds. Uh, so, you know, we don't have a tropical storm, doesn't look like right now. But could we get one? Yeah, we could because even though there's some shear in the atmosphere, there's enough fuel there and the shear is weak enough that it could consolidate. Now, the GFS is more bullish on this getting a little more focused and organized before it crosses Florida, the center of it, on Saturday, before then it moves in between, kicks that field goal between Hatteras and Bermuda uh, early next week. But then when you look at the Euro, it has a broader area of low-level spin. See those colors <coughs> kind of you know, muted, but over a larger area. And it's a little farther to the north. And look at on Saturday. Look at how the, the spin at low levels is strewn out. So this could be a really disorganized system, uh, although it might have a chance to get its act together out over the Gulf Stream and over the waters of the, the Western Atlantic on its way out of here. But with all that said, let's focus on this aspect. Here's then it the could hit like another right continent but look at over there. Morning, the, the weather is going to start going downhill over Florida, and then this thing gets off to the races. So you got to focus on the fact that the weather is going to be getting And right bad, now it's like 15 uh, miles an hour. It's pretty uh, warm right now. So again, closer up view of the rainfall. You know, you see the slight oh differences in the models. But, 8 to 12 uh, inches? This weather is going to change tomorrow morning. Here's the GFS. By tomorrow afternoon, the weather is still mostly out over the Gulf. And the center circulation is still here near the Yucatan Channel. But the weather is starting <coughs> now to go downhill in southern Florida, and once it does tomorrow, then tomorrow night, Saturday morning, it's not going to be good until you, the dry backside of this thing moves through on Sunday. Euro, very, very similar. Center of circulation oh my God. back here as the, the weather is bad Cuba. Tomorrow, tomorrow night into Saturday morning, and then finally on Sunday, uh, it starts to improve. So, 
the big risk is going to be flooding. Oh my and God. the big day is tomorrow. Flash tomorrow night flooding into is Saturday morning. Alex, we got to promise ourselves we're not going to drive our cars onto uh, any water covered roads. More possible. That's what to focus on. Not what kind then, of system uh, is this going to be. Yeah, the top of Florida. Because right now we're under we're West Palm Beach. My ugly. Ah, uh, Philadelphia. Anyway, so yeah, that's all for today.